Boker Tov, Yom Tov, Zarim Tovim, and Laila Tov, no matter where you're at. Good day, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Carrie, and I wanted to share with you a word today. And we're just going to talk about it. It is something that is usually glanced over in Hebrew because by and in of itself, when it is translated, it is really diminished in its depth of its meaning. And it's the word kal. And by itself, through the English interpretation, it means the whole and all. But when you look at the letters and you take them individually, it means to be whole and of all, one must bend themselves and yoke to that which is meant to fill them with power if choosing this path. Words that bring about revelation meant to instruct you in the waters of chaos in order to reveal the peaceful hidden waters that have been remain that remain hidden behind this is where you are made whole through the instruction of light that will reveal where you are weak and feeble so that you can deliver yourself as one who is marked with the signature sine wave frequency the fingerprint from the father above the covenant of life as unconditional love, as one who is exempt from judgment as they no longer judge. These who have been made whole and are part of all as one. Wholeness is meant to be found within us and no outside source will be able to reveal this to you. Anything on the outside, whether it be a husband, a parent, a friend or a lover, or anything that you give your energy over to, will only show you that love has conditions. And that which is sought on the outside is not sustainable. But there's a purpose in this. It is meant to show you what is not, so that you will look for that which is. Source as creator, father within, love that sustains, love that is unconditional. That is what we are seeking for and looking for. Find that love first within by loving yourself unconditionally. And then all else on the outside can be held and contained sustainably through your unconditional love, having conditions until they too find it within. This is how we will become whole and how we will find and bring true and sustainable peace to all. Shalom, shalom, and namaste.